Homoplasy, in biology and phylogenetics, is when a trait has been gained or lost independently in separate lineages over the course of evolution. This is different from homology, which is the similarity of traits due to common ancestry. Homoplasy can arise from both similar selection pressures acting on adapting species, and the effects of genetic drift. Most often, homoplasy is viewed as a similarity in morphological traits. However, homoplasy may also appear in other trait types, such as similarity in the genetic sequence, life cycle types or even behavioral traits. Etymology The term homoplasy was first used by Ray Lancaster in 1870. The corresponding adjective is either homoplastic or homoplastic. It is derived from the two ancient Greek words homos, homos, meaning similar, alike, the same, and plasso, plasso, meaning to shape, to mold. Parallelism and convergence Parallel and convergent evolution lead to homoplasy when different species independently evolve or gain a comparable trait, which diverges from the trait inferred to have been present in their common ancestor. When the similar traits are caused by an equivalent developmental mechanism, the process is referred to as parallel evolution. The process is called convergent evolution when the similarity arises from different developmental mechanisms. These types of homoplasy may occur when different lineages live in comparable ecological niches that require similar adaptations for an increase in fitness. An interesting example is that of the marsupial moles Notoridae, golden moles Chrysochloridae, and northern moles Talpidae. These are mammals from different geographical regions and lineages, and have all independently evolved very similar burrowing characteristics such as a cone-shaped heads and flat frontal claws to live in a subterranean ecological niche. Reversion in contrast, reversal aka vestigialization, leads to homoplasy through the disappearance of previously gained traits. This process may result from changes in the environment in which certain gained traits are no longer relevant, or have even become costly. This can be observed in subterranean and cave-dwelling animals by their loss of sight, in cave-dwelling animals through their loss of pigmentation, and in both snakes and legless lizards through their loss of limbs. Distinguishing homology from homoplasy Homoplasy, especially the type that occurs in more closely related phylogenetic groups, can make phylogenetic analysis more challenging. Phylogenetic trees are created by means of parsimony analysis. These analyses can be done with phenotypic, as well as genetic traits, DNA sequences. Using parsimony analysis, the hypothesis that requires the fewest evolutionary changes is preferred over alternative hypotheses. Construction of these trees may become a challenge when clouded by the occurrence of homoplasy and the traits used for the analysis. The most important approach in overcoming these challenges, is by increasing the amount of independent, non-pliotropic, non-linked, characteristics used in the construction of these phylogenic trees. Along with parsimony analysis, one could perform a likelihood analysis, where the probability of a tree being true is calculated and branch lengths are measured, and bootstrapping, in which trees are constructed for each characteristic separately to estimate the confidence of a tree. According to cladistic interpretation, homoplasy can be identified when a given similarity in trait cannot be explained by relation through a common ancestor on a preferred phylogenetic hypothesis, that is, the feature in question arises, or disappears, at more than one point on the tree. In the case of DNA sequences, homoplasy cannot be avoided due to its four-state nature. An observed homoplasy may simply be the result of random nucleotide substitutions accumulating over time, and thus may not need an adaptationist evolutionary explanation. Homoplasy versus evolutionary contingency In his book Wonderful Life, Stephen J. Gould claims that repeating the evolutionary process, from any point in time onward, would not produce the same results. The occurrence of homoplasy is viewed by some biologists as an argument against Gould's theory of evolutionary contingency. Powell and Mariscal 2015, argue that this disagreement is caused by an equivocation and that both the theory of contingency as well as homoplastic occurrence can be true at the same time. Application The occurrence of homoplasy can also be used to make predictions about evolution. 
Recent studies have used homoplasy to predict the possibility and the path of extraterrestrial evolution. For example, Levin et al. 2017 suggest that the development of eye-like structures is highly likely, due to its numerous, independently evolved incidences on Earth. References